Hello friends, family, and the rest. It is iPhone Fury, and welcome back to my Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we um, got some hard pieces, bought some magic beans from that creepy-ass nom nom guy. Actually, I learned something cool. No, not you, Navi. I actually learned that you can get to the hard pieces by using a chicken. Down there. See him? See him. You can see him. Right there. It's in the beginning. If you just keep throwing him and catching him across like the areas he couldn't get to, you can actually get the harpies before you go to the third dungeon, so that's kind of cool. Oh, balls, I have to do this again. Oh. God. Ugh. There. I can't play it fast in the game to keep me charged. It's impossible. I can play I can do this song like crazy fast in the uh, NES or N64, but I just can't do it here. Parting of the waterfalls. Yeah. Okay, now we're in. Because the simplistic melody is the key to everything. Obviously. Zora's domain. Right. So this is basically the third area of the game. Um, the um main occupant here is Zora's. If you haven't noticed, like the first one is. Q's, next one is Gorn's, third one is Zora's, and then anything ringing a bell with Majora's mask, I wonder why they did that, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, not really much to do here, the shop is ridiculously overpriced, I'll show it after. Sidestep into the win. Okay, you know where the big fat fish over there that you saw in like, a couple of frames? I come over here, talk to this on, like, the most important Zora. Diving game, 20 rupees, wanna play? God damn, I don't even have enough. Ugh. I'll be back when I get some more rupees, okay guys? Well, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. Awesome. Sweet. Diving game, 20 rupees, wanna play? Sure, why not? Okay, pick up all the rupees and I throw from here, you'll have only a limited amount of time. When you pick up them all, come back here, I'll give you something very nice. Awesome. You're just throwing money up the side of the wa waterfall. Who do you think you are, Bill Gates? God. Yeah. Whee! Basically, this game is you just hit the dive button, which is either just A, regardless of uh, console you're on. Basically, hit it until you get the ruby, and then come back up. I was actually very lucky with the ruby selection, because like, I like, guess I won, like, what? 10 seconds. Basically, just dive until you get the reviews. Actually, it's very easy. Um, it's a very beginner game, basically teaching the uh, mechanics of diving. A little better than Abby did. So, now we get to go up back to Azura for a special prize. Okay. Mm, let's try back walking this time. Yeah, that was much faster. Epic skills for the win. Right. What do you gotta give me? What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind, which this you can dive much deeper under the water. And we get the silver scale. It's basically what exactly what he told me. Use this so you can dive farther under the water. Yes. So now we have this, we can go down the hole. No. I promised myself no HG belly references. Why am I doing that then? I don't know. Okay. And as you see there, there's a. Ooh, what is that? Is that a bottle? It looks all lonely out there. I have to catch it. Yay! Da -da -da -da. Got an empty bottle, but wait, there's something else plus something inside. Use it with C. What? What? Something's already inside. God. The game lied to me. It said it was gonna be empty. There's something inside, and I can't even use it until the letter. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm three. And it's just going back uh, back to Zoro's domain. I'm gonna do some things first, real fast. Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? Let's see. Hmm. Well, not bad. I remember it for you, anyways. I don't mean like I don't mean I can remember only eight notes. Just looks like just wait. Let's just cut that right for here for now, boy, baby. I do it again? I don't like that song. Okay. Hmm. No. What 
Where's some songs from freaking Maj Oh yeah, here we go. There we go. It's kind of like the freaking Gorham one, but like, it's a little altered. And, nah. I need to play them more fluently. There we go. That's how I wanted to do it. Anyways. Oh, now that fiasco's over, let's go to the, uh, over here, which is actually one of the more frustrating games in this, uh, mini games in this game, but I'm going to, anyway, for the sake of you guys. Come on. Thank you. Link's the one if I can't freaking climb up the ledges. I don't know. Just kidding, Link. You're awesome. Here we have the fishing pond. What, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Okay. Watch this. I was, uh, Yes, I understand. Basically, what you do is you cast your reel with B. Um, you reel it in with R and A and the down button or the down directional pad. Um, it is just for fun, but if you if you're going for the prize, which is catch the biggest fish, and it's a heart piece for the kid and it's a bigger scale for the adult. Um, there's a fish in the middle. Uh, by that uh, log over there. You probably actually see it. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But, um, let's try catching this baby. You'll, you'll definitely know what's the, when it's the biggest fish. You can see it under the water. You can see it over there. No, I'm not going to be able to get it from here. Let's try, like, this angle right here. Come on, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. You know you want it. You know you want it. No. Go away, smaller fish. I don't want you. Yeah, that's convenient. First try. I like how it does the battle music here. It's like, fish isn't an enemy, goddammit. It's just a freaking fish. But um, basically, what I want to do is hold A, R, down button, and like rotate on the bottom half of the joystick. And you'll get him eventually. Sometimes the line does break, but that's just like, unlucky. I'm like, not even joking. Wow, this is a real bunker. Let's see, it weighs 10 pounds. Do you want to keep it? Hell yeah, I do. Why would I throw it away? It's the best fish in this lake so far. Except for the ones in the bottom, but you can't get those on, uh, like, by normal means. You have, to, you have to cheat. Not Game Shark cheat, but just by, like, um... What's it called? You have to, um... You find a sinking lure somewhere in here as an adult. It's random, but, you know, so... What do you want? Where my fish? Definitely. Whoa, it's 10 pounds. Seriously, who's your prize? Yay, we get a piece of heart. Yay, so let's speak to him. I don't want to fish anymore. Why don't you quit? Yes, come back when you get older. Foreshadowing for the win. Okay. Um. Basically, uh, since we're done with Lake Hylia for now, we can just go back. Actually, there's one thing I want to do first. And that is plant a seed as a kid. All the way over here. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, right here. This is one of the most soft soil patches, so you want to plant a seed. And it makes a little sprout. I don't know how that works, it's, you know, it's pretty epic. And it's the daytime out, yay. Wee. Okay, um. Now since we're done with Lake Hylia, we can go straight down into that Kimbazora's Domain and complete this shenanigans. Alright. There's one more thing I want to do before I go back, to, or one more thing I want to do, or two actually, before I go into the next dungeon that isn't required, so um... I don't ever gonna walk up this thing regularly. Oh damn it! Thank you. All right, um, let's get our bottle out with our message. And Princess Ruto, King Didi, or King? I call him King Didi. Oh, this letter—it's from Princess Ruto. Hmm. Let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. 
But since that stranger, Ganondorf, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu was a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it, respectively. Okay, I think that he's gonna try to move here in a second, and I'm actually gonna speed that up because I don't want to see that. It's actually gonna be quite funny because it's gonna be all speed up and junk. <laughs> Ah, the shenanigans is over with. Time to... Do I have any Tiku sticks left? I better. I only got one. It's crap. Okay, um... First thing you want to do is light this. Go as fast as you can. Go, 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 go. Hopefully rolling doesn't make it go, like... Go any, like, more or less. And then flash, take the save your stick. Light it again. Go, 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 go. You want to save the, you want to get at least one for this next for the next dungeon because you definitely need at least one. But um, what I'm doing here is I'm lighting torches to get a, another heart piece, which is awesome. Each and then flash save your second. Heart pieces! Yay! Alright! Alright! Yay! Can you sense my enthusiasm? Oh yeah, first of all, before you go into that area, you want to catch a fish in here. You can go buy one at the store, which I guess you can do. I've never done it before, ever. I just caught one here. It's 200 rupees, which requires you to get the big the um, adult wallet, which is not necessary. You, you can have it by this point. Definitely not hard, but um... Uh, it's just easier to go catch one, like, honestly. Okay, now I'm freaking walking up the regular way. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay. Now we are through with the fattest king ever, Evar. We can go here. See, that is a pretty small fish. Well, compared to how big his dungeon is, I mean, consider the fact that if his if he was as big as his dungeon, um, it would probably be about the size of this room. But I also think you shrink in Lord Jabu Jabu, because I mean, all the evidence is clear. Like, hold on, I'll, I'll explain it more when I get there. But first of all, we don't want to go instead of doing that. We want to go over here first because uh. Pretty nice. No, no, it's, not, it's not actually. Our, this is a uh, completely optional, but um, it's good to do anyways. And then bomb this wall right here. Ah! And I create this huge ass tunnel. I'm not sure why. But yeah, um, here we have a, another great fairy fountain, which is awesome. So yeah, we do our usual routine: play the epic Zelda's lullaby. God, it's so creepy. <laughs> and she has vines for clothes. That's definitely gonna cover up her nude. Mm-hmm. Mm, definitely. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. So she said. <laughs> Damn it, I keep doing that. Yay! We get a thing called Furore's Wind. This is a warp magic you can use to see. Warp it when you are in danger. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point or you can create it last or warp to that point. It's pretty good for a shortcut, actually. Remember, you can use Furore's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? When battle has made you weary, please come back to me. Blah, 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 blah. Go away to your house. Thank you. Then back walk outside. 
But anyways, guys, I'm going to call part here because I think I'm out of time. So, this is Fallen Fury signing out of Ocarina of Time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Next time, we'll take on Jabu Jabu.